Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and it is the last Wednesday of the month. It's like the last Wednesday of the year too. Crazy, crazy to think about that. Um, so that means it is off the board. So there are a group of us that are pulling our pins off of Pinterest and using them as inspiration. So I am currently getting into embroidery and so a lot of my pins lately have been uh, like patterns or uh, projects that type of thing and so I thought I would use one of them as my inspiration so I love this piece it's like a rainbow but it's just the the angular stripes it's just the tiniest picture and then it kind of trickles off so i knew i wanted to do kind of some slanted papers so i found this camera paper and i went ahead and cut apart the strips of them and then I'm going to scrapbook this picture of my daughter. She, we were at my cousin's wedding and we were hiking actually to our, our car and she stops and she poses. So of course I have to take her picture and she's so cute. So, um, originally I'm thinking just kind of two and then I'll have the, clouds in the background to kind of go with that rainbow feel and then I changed my mind and decide it needs a little bit more so I'm going to do these three and I'm going to trim I'm going to trim this down just a little bit now there is one yes that one has that blue and I don't like that so I'm just going to make sure that that's where my photo is going to go. So it's going to cover up that piece. So I'm going to go ahead and angle these and stick them down to my background paper. And then I did map my photo with a piece of six by eight paper from Paracel. And I took my layout over to my sewing machine because I thought, well, I probably should include some stitching on this layout since my inspiration is basically stitching. <laughs> so I just did some straight stitches down the sides of those uh, strips of paper and then I'm going to use a couple of Bramble Fox perspectives. I have decided that I have to stop hoarding them I don't, I no longer need to, I guess I'm not really hoarding them. Maybe I'm just collecting them. Um, so I have these pieces that says authentic, beautiful. And then a couple of these corners. So I'm going to get two of the corners used up as well as the two title pieces. And I find that it works pretty good to use my little poker tool to peel off the the backings. Uh, you just don't want to stab it because it will stab the acrylic. But if you just get it under the, the tape part, it works pretty good. So I'm going to embellish uh, with all of these pieces from the Paracel collection. This really could have been a Maggie Holmes Monday <laughs> layout for the fact that there is so much Maggie Holmes on this particular layout and I'm using just the Paracel collection. So this was a collection that I had got off of Peachy Cheap and so it didn't have any 12 by 12 paper. So I have to pull from my, my stash, but I do believe that both of these background papers were Maggie Holmes as well. So I'm gonna start by creating a little cluster down at the bottom of the photo as well as a cluster up here at the top. Uh, I do love these sticker books because they have so many fun things in them. 
And I'm okay with the majority of them being clear. Um, I think for the most part they work out, but you can always attach them to a piece of white cardstock and fussy cut it out. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, this is being layered over several things and I don't think it's super noticeable that, that they're quote unquote clear stickers. So this sticker sheet is from Woodland Grove and I picked it up at Joann's. Now I have pretty much killed this collection. So the fact that I bought the sticker sheet, uh, I think it was just because I didn't have it before. And I think they're super usable. I mean, maybe not some of the pieces, but I feel like that's with every collection. Some of them work, some of them don't. So this is where I'm going to kind of do that kind of scattering at the end of the inspiration piece with all of the little bits. So I'm going to create a little cluster up here at the top with a couple of these stickers. They're so cute. I just love them. Um, and I really love how this, this layout turns out. So I'm going to create that little cluster up there. And then I think I'm just going to finish it off with a couple of puffy stickers from the Paracel collection. And then I think I'm going to bring in some sequins too. This seems really slow to me for some reason today. Maybe because I am tired from the holidays. Are you guys tired from the holidays? Okay, so let's get those puffy stickers on and get the sequence, I think. Yes. So, oh, I, first I thought that was a bow, but that is a butterfly. So butterfly has to have some butterfly sequin trails. And I just have a couple of sequins on my desk. I'm not even sure what collection they are from probably from whatever I used on my last Maggie Holmes Monday. Um, so whatever was left on my desk, I just decided I'm going to make enough spots to take care of all of that. And that is going to do it for my layout today. So I will have a list of everybody who is playing along down below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday and Oh, we have another one this weekend, so be safe and enjoy and get some scrappy stuff done because that's what I need to do. Remember to wear your crown, and we'll see you next time. Bye.